Hello my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Today I will show with you effortly attractive smelling perfumes. I think usually uh, sexy perfume videos go for this vampy, super intense, moody, you know, like red Labutin sort of a effect, but this is a different sort of a video. I wanted to pick some really attractive perfumes that you can wear every single day in sort of any situation that will make you smell really just stunning and attractive, but in this like natural way. The first one is Villa Neroli from BDK. This is what I think about it when I smell it. It's beautiful, soft Neroli. It's like the perfect just summer's day. It smells very natural, delicate, gentle, and very inviting. This is just somebody who is, is just super attractive, but is not even trying. That is what I'm going for with this perfume list. Because let's be honest, not everybody can pull off like a super strong perfume every single day. It's just like, sometimes it's just not appropriate for certain settings, but these sort of perfumes, they just give you this like je ne sais quoi vibe, really stunning. This fragrance you can wear every single day you can even wear it to bed if you're that person that wears your perfumes to bed because it's just so comforting. I have worn this to bed actually. It's just incredible. You want this around you all the time. Ah, oh, it's so, so good. It reminds me of my first ever Neroli perfume that I fell in love with and it's no longer available. So when they released it, I was like, wow, finally a perfume that smells like this. So this is totally incredible and very subtly sexy. By the way, this is a perfume and luxury channel. So if you enjoy content like this, subscribe. I would love to have you as part of this channel. Now for the next perfume, this is my secret weapon, 11th hour from Bayredo. This perfume, I've got like a tiny bit left and I'm holding off, but I need to use it up. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. Again, very effortless. Think like Parisian women that just kind of look a bit scruffy, but at the same time, incredibly chic. I don't know how they pull that off. I don't think I could, but just that Parisian chic woman, this is something that she would wear because this is not like too feminine and not too masculine, very unisex. This is fig rum, but a very fresh green fig and rum, incredible. Every time I wear it, I get compliments for this because it's a very unique set of notes. It's something that is quite strong, but in a light way. So everybody will be able to smell you. And I think this fragrance from Bayredo doesn't get enough hype, but it's definitely very effortless and very attractive. attractive. <laughs> I couldn't say attractive. Next perfume that I would consider like perfect for this video, actually one of the perfumes on this list really inspired me to do this video, but another one was this one, Nostalgia from Granado. This perfume, I'm telling you, it's enchanting. It's so effortless. This is a perfume for this woman that really is so beautiful and you just when you look at her you're like oh i wish i was her i wish i just didn't need to put any makeup on didn't have to do my hair didn't have to do anything i just looked so nice and effortless and smelled amazing all the time this is that non perfume perfume it's very transparent woody irisy it's just incredible tiny a tiny bit smoky so natural smelling definitely something that not everybody will be like oh you're wearing a perfume they'll just think like you've got amazing body care products or hair products and you just smell like that's how you smell and you smell amazing this is like your secret weapon incredible perfume next up is an effortless badass, <laughs> I would say. This is Famine Carved Oud. This perfume is very, very nice. And I would say it's um, this like really effortless, but 
bad girl sort of energy that is what this perfume is giving me it's very similar to oud wood and but a bit more deep dark a bit more chocolatey as well but it smells incredible this smoky like wood is so so good in this and it just makes me feel like 100 million bucks it literally it's like you when you put it on you feel like a badass you just feel like you don't need anything else it's an incredible perfume the only thing that with this is the longevity i wish it lasted a bit longer so i do layer it sometimes with oud wood because they are very similar but oud wood somehow it lasts longer on me uh, but maybe that's my skin let me know if you've got uh, I mean carved wood and whether that uh, this fragrance lasts on you because i've heard from some people that it lasts on them so i don't know maybe this is a newer bottle and maybe it doesn't last i don't know but it's incredible oh, over perfume I love the magnetic next perfume is roja sweetie aoud perfume this perfume is so delicious this is like the sweetest person ever <laughs> you just want to like eat them up they just look so cute very attractive in this like gourmand delicious way this is supposed to smell like french pastries and man i love macarons it's my all-time favorite sweet treat and i usually i'm not a sweet tooth uh, i prefer salty stuff but macarons and donuts are my ah oh, and this definitely smells like macarons oh just a bit creamy but very sugary like icing sugar it smells a bit nutty like there's some pistachio in there macarons ah oh, this fragrance is incredibly indulgent and you'll feel just really expensively smelling but at the same time it's not overdoing it it's a strong fragrance but it's just the oud is also very um it's done with a light touch so you don't feel like you're wearing this like wow fragrance that like just smells like too much it smells very delicious very expensive but it's still very effortless parisian chic this is it <laughs> Next fragrance is something I would say somebody like Hailey Bieber would wear because this is just very natural smelling like somebody who just doesn't wear makeup glowy skin just supermodel sort of a scent it's Le Papier from Diptyque and I had my beef with this one when I first sp uh, smelled it I was like oh I don't get what they are trying to do with this perfume but now having tested it and worn it I totally get it I love how natural this fragrance smells. It smells super clean yet nutty and this like super white nut way. It's not roasted nuts, definitely not roasted nuts, but like very just white, almost flavorless sort of nuts. There is this just creaminess to it. Um, oh, it's just gorgeous and it kind of smells a bit like rice reminds me a bit of like asian cooking a little bit mm. and it's spicy at the same time it's such a weird and unique and wonderful perfume it really just melts into your skin and you don't even feel like you're wearing a perfume that's what i love about this so if you want to smell just effortlessly effortlessly chic and attractive and like you're wearing something unique but maybe it's just your skin maybe you just smell amazing then this is your secret weapon it's yeah try it try it out because it's one of the most like weirdly wonderful perfumes that i've tried this year so far it's so fun next up i've got of course chanel chance au tendre eau de toilette this perfume i think it's just effortlessly effortlessly attractive not only because men absolutely fall in love with this perfume there's something about it they love but also because it's not trying too hard it's very self-assured of a perfume it's not too strong it's not too sweet it's not too like flowery it's just 
you i would say if you're wearing it it's just you melts into your skin also really adapts to your skin chemistry so it smells tiny bit different on everybody and i just love how watery fresh just flower petals it's incredibly sexy like you're coming out of the shower with wet hair you're on holiday and like a towel and you're just there on a balcony sipping your coffee this is like the best moment of your life and you just want to smell effortlessly sexy. This is the perfume that I could just envisage in that moment. By the way, my hair is getting really dark up here. Let me know what you think actually, because you're the best to ask. <laughs> it was my husband, like he doesn't know. Should I dye my hair again? from the top or should I just leave it and let it grow out? Let me know. This is like colored. This is my natural hair color. That used to get very blonde when I lived in Poland but now it doesn't because I don't get much sun here in England obviously. But let me know in the comments. I would love to have your opinion because I don't know what to do. Next up we've got a very dusty but a perfume that inspired me to do this video is Fuyu by Tom Daxon. This one I have to admit, I have stopped kind of talking about it because it's incredibly hard to find. So I don't want to say like, oh, rave about a perfume and then say, oh, you kind of get it. That would be horrible. So I'll try my best to get it. You can probably get it in London, um, in like Liberties or something. Um, they've got the best selection of perfumes, by the way. But this fragrance is effortlessly attractive without a doubt it's like peach uh, skin it's oh, it smells like a white piece of paper just super clean but kind of woody but also like visually you just get like a clean slate and this perfume is just regal it's clean it's beautiful it smells like your skin but better it's so super attractive it's also long lasting but to me this is like your perfect clean girl perfume there is nothing quite like it oh and i love it so much it's a bit green as well there is something there's a little a tiny bit of every single note there but it's then with like such a light touch that most of this it's just like smells like beautiful air and then you've got little drops of perfume oils that just blend together but it's all very watery very clean incredible incredible if you get can get your hands on it you can literally wear it as your signature and not many people around the globe will be able to even buy this even if they want it so this is like your secret secret sort of a perfume next up we've got m miselef note funny i have put one a bit sweeter of a perfume with sweetie i would as well so two sweeter fragrances in this list because although i think for this effortless sort of a smell sexy smell sweet perfumes you have to kind of have them done with a light touch for this sweet effortless uh, sort of a smell because they can go to this like trying too hard or like this is a perfume for this situation only place for me note funny is a perfect balance between like being a sweet and gourmand an absolutely delicious perfume but also being light and not hyper strong it is a strong perfume but it's not in the intensity of notes like that you just like oh this is nauseatingly sweet no it's done with a lovely french perfume sort of a way and it's jammy it's sweet it's very beautifully done with like this vanilla that is slightly smoky it's absolutely delicious and this jamminess it really comes from this like i can imagine it being like a rose um, jam in a donut this is how this sort of a smell translates in note funny it's beautiful if you loved your poison girl or the toilette or the parfum then you'll absolutely love this because this is a similar vibes not a dupe but a similar vibe of a very romantic very pretty yet gourmand perfume and another perfume is stephanie de bruggen montagne mountain do i think this smells like a mountain 
That is the question, because I was thinking about this. You know what I get? Like a um, cream that you put on in your face before you go skiing. That is what I get. This Nivea, Nivea, I don't know how you say it in English. I'll put, put the, this uh, cream here. I bet everybody knows it. This sort of a clean, soapy, powdery smell, but together with a lovely fruit. This is just beautiful, a bit of iris in here. This is very effortless. This is like a girl in French Alps. Absolutely just cozy, very unique because of this powderiness. It does have that cream sort of a smell but this would be perfect for french alps so yeah i get that mountain smell i never thought i never thought about it but it's absolutely stunning this again is a brand that not many people talk about uh, i wouldn't say well i wouldn't know because i don't watch much but i don't think this is like a hyped brand uh, like baccar rouge uh, mfk and stuff like that this perfume is something again very unique I'm not going to gatekeep it though, but it's absolutely stunning. I love two fragrances so far from this line. And this is just very calming, very powdery, iris and totally effortless because it's just not trying too hard. It's a French perfume. It's not, you know, trying to be too trendy. This is like timeless, old money sort of a smell. Um, but not boring because sometimes I find that French perfumes um, can be very boring and like you're smelling the same thing over and over again. That's from my experience because I have gone through loads of samples and sometimes you go to a fragrance brand, to a fragrance house and you get their sample set and it's like, oh, I've smelled it all before because it's classic French perfumery. Very nicely done, but just nothing new. This is very new and different and absolutely stunning. So check out Montagne. By the way, I'll link this fragrance and uh, the ones that I can find the best deals for them. But for this one in particular, I've got 10% off, which is not often you get 10% off on niche fragrances. So I'll link down the link for the shop. Let me know your favorite effortlessly attractive perfume and also let me know if you want to see a particular video on this channel, leave your request down in the comments so I know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. That would be great help and I would love to do that for you and I'll see you in the next one.